everybody. Welcome to the first Homemade Hit Show video show. If you don't know, my name is Tony Butterworth. I am a home recording songwriter. I must put all declaimers. I don't consider myself to be great, good or anything. I just like doing it and I like talking about it and I like running the podcast. So I have no idea what I'm going to do today. I'm sitting here in my studio, probably going to include a uh, video I got from a listener and I will include a studio tour and hopefully a little video capture on drum loops. So the first up, we have a video that was sent to me by a guy who goes by the name of Lennon Bone. I'm going to turn away from the camera here and read from the screen. He, uh, he said his uh, moniker he goes by is the Varsity Club Sunshine Coach. And he also wanted me to mention that he is the drummer in a band, Ha Ha Tonka, who are on Bloodshot Records. So we'll put that out there. And he basically made this video all about making a song. It's uh, pretty interesting. It's only two or three minutes long. And I'll come right back afterwards and we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Lennon Bone. I wanted to put together an EP just to prove to myself that I could do it, that I am capable of, of writing songs and, and arranging them and uh, putting together a small project. Snakes on the wall Mama's at the table Running off the jaw Pictures and the paintings Flying down the hall wrong, Tom? Disappointment. I'm not happy with myself. I'm not I'm not good as a human being. And what happened? I'm weak at the mouth. I didn't, yeah, I didn't see the so chorus coming. Weak at the mouth. Yeah, I'm weak at the mouth. Right on two. Yeah. process has been really cool because I've seen myself grow as a songwriter and I see how far I still have to go at the same time and it's, it's kind of a cool place to be. All right then, welcome to the bedroom. A little scan around here where I do all my recording, or most of it. Sometimes in the car, but mostly here. I specifically did not tidy up, so you could have a look around here. We'll start over here. On the left, we have the famous closet. Currently, concluding an electric guitar I just bought for my daughter. This show should be going out on the day that's her ninth birthday. Uh, down here, just going to move these cushions a little bit. We have uh, what everybody probably has, a couple of boxes of wires and gosh knows what else. Okay, recently bought a bunch of wall hangers for the guitars, which has uh, been made life much more convenient. So here we have a Takamini acoustic, and we have the recently purchased uh, Rondo Agile AL200, Rondo STL50, I think. My cheapo bass, whose make I can never remember despite the fact it's up on there somewhere. It's, uh, oh, I don't know, I'll figure that out in a minute. There's a uh, Corona, or what is it? Corale, Corai or something, that's a guitar sold pretty nice and cheaply to me by a friend Jeffster. And over there is the Variax guitar. So that's the guitars. 
down here on the desk we have my pile of uh, mostly Ricky Rooksby books, just music books, uh, songwriting related, a mic stand with a pop filter. I'm currently using my um, ES58 mic with a little pop filter, let me show you that. There you go, there's the fact. Now I've got to bend down and pick it up. Real, real time TV, you see. Then we have uh, ArtTube preamp. I don't use it very much. It's, it's fine. I just find that it tends to um, make it more complicated to get recording. Uh, Studio Projects B1 condenser, upside down. And a Line 6 tone port. And here is my, one of these things, I forgot what they are. Oh, Ederol, little Ederol monitors, pretty small. Do the job fine for me. And a laptop, currently recording the audio of this show. Not a particularly powerful laptop, but it does its job. Uh, hidden there under the headphones, which I'll move, is the Pod XTL, covered in wires, as it should be. And there's some Sennheiser headphones, micro Korg, power strip, guitar strap, lyrics notebook behind there, external hard drive, um, Yamaha Porter, whatever it is, keyboard, stool, and bed where I fall asleep if I uh, get bored of my own songs. All right, little brief studio tour there. I'd love to receive anybody uh, else's studio tours. This uh, we've got, we did this once before, but now we'll be able to include them in the show. So this is the uh, what I called what Round Record Studios Center. Thanks for watching.